The debate over abortion access in the United States has taken a new turn with the Satanic Temple's recent opening of a telehealth abortion clinic in Virginia. This clinic, named Right to Your Life Satanic Abortion Clinic, follows the establishment of their first such clinic in New Mexico earlier this year. TST, a non-theistic religious organization, frames its provision of abortion services as a religious right, protected under the First Amendment. This move has ignited fierce debate, pitting those who champion access to abortion against those who seek to restrict it. TST's decision to open these clinics comes amidst a wave of new restrictions on abortion access across the United States. By operating primarily online, TST aims to circumvent these legal barriers and provide access to medication abortion, which involves taking pills to end a pregnancy. The clinic's very existence highlights the deep divisions in American society over the issue of abortion. Supporters see TST's actions as a bold defense of reproductive rights and a necessary response to what they view as a tax on women's bodily autonomy. Conversely, critics argue that TST's claims of religious freedom are a smokescreen for promoting abortion and undermining democratically enacted laws. As the legal and political battles over abortion continue, TST's telehealth clinics are poised to remain a flashpoint in this ongoing struggle. The Satanic Temple's telehealth abortion clinic offers what it terms religious abortion services, emphasizing the procedure's grounding in the organization's belief system. The clinic services are primarily delivered through telehealth, minimizing the need for in-person visits. Patients begin by undergoing a virtual consultation with a healthcare provider. If deemed eligible for a medication abortion, the patient receives the necessary medications through the mail via an online pharmacy. Central to TST's approach is the belief that individuals have the right to make decisions about their own bodies and health care without government interference. The use of telehealth in this context is not without its critics. However, proponents of telehealth argue that these concerns are overblown and that telehealth can actually improve access to safe and legal abortion, particularly for those in rural or underserved areas. The Satanic Temple's foray into telehealth abortion has thrust the issue of religious freedom to the forefront of the abortion debate. TST argues that its provision of abortion services is protected under the First Amendment, which guarantees the free exercise of religion. By framing abortion as a religious ritual, TST seeks to invoke the same legal protections afforded to other religious practices, even those that may be controversial or unpopular. This argument has drawn criticism from those who question the sincerity of TST's religious beliefs. The courts will ultimately decide whether TST's claims of religious freedom hold water, but the debate itself speaks volumes about the enduring power of the First Amendment and the passionate convictions on both sides of the abortion issue. Section 4, Safety First, Concerns About Telehealth Abortion while the Satanic Temple champions its telehealth abortion clinic as a victory for religious freedom and reproductive rights, critics voice serious concerns about the model's safety and ethical implications. Central to these concerns is the lack of in-person medical supervision during the abortion process. Medication abortion, while generally considered safe and effective, does carry potential risks, including incomplete abortion, heavy bleeding, and infection. Despite these concerns, proponents of telehealth abortion maintain that the model is safe, effective, and can expand access to care, particularly for those in underserved areas. Section 5. A divided public, a contentious issue. The opening of the Satanic Temple's telehealth abortion clinic has ignited a firestorm of public and political reactions, reflecting the deeply polarized climate surrounding abortion in the United States. The issue remains a lightning rod for controversy, with deeply held beliefs on both sides fueling passionate arguments about morality, personal liberty, and the role of government. Many call for increased scrutiny of telehealth abortion providers and stricter regulations to ensure patient safety, with some advocating for an outright ban on the practice. The debate often extends beyond the issue of abortion itself, encompassing broader discussions about the role of religion in society, the limits of government authority, and the very definition of life. Section 6. The Future of Religious Freedom and Reproductive Rights 
The Satanic Temple's telehealth abortion clinic stands as a stark reminder of the complex and often contradictory forces shaping the landscape of religious freedom and reproductive rights in the United States. The legal battles surrounding TST's clinics are far from over. Beyond the legal arena, TST's actions have ignited a broader conversation about the intersection of religion, healthcare, and personal autonomy. Ultimately, the future of religious freedom and reproductive rights in the United States hinges on finding a way to navigate these complex and often competing values.